Hello everyone, it's Mary. Welcome back to the channel where we are having a super celebration today and I am joining the hop to celebrate Ardith, Katya, and Jenny's 5,000 subscribers milestone. So excited and the best part about this is that it's a multi-celebration. So it's three crafty ladies who are building each other up and we are all celebrating them and that is the best kind. So let's get into the card here. I am going to make a pretty simple card. I was not feeling like coloring, so this is my workaround. And these are the three products that I'm gonna be using here mostly. The first thing I'm gonna do is pull out my Gina K Designs um, floral stamp set. This is the Hello stamp set. And it came in uh, the kit for January, I believe it was. Such a beautiful kit, love this, one of my favorites. All right, so I'm gonna pull out the floral from there because it's a solid image. There's lots of techniques you can do with solid images. Um, so I'm a huge fan of them, particularly when, like today, you don't feel like coloring. So the first technique um, that I'm gonna be using here, and I do share a couple others in other videos, but the first one for this one is I'm gonna be doing this heat emboss resist. So I'm going to stamp it in Versamark sticky clear ink, and then I'm gonna cover it in white embossing powder. Now you can use clear, that is totally acceptable. However, my watercolor cardstock here that I'm using is not stark white, and I want my flowers stark white. So if I used clear embossing powder, it would reflect the color of the cardstock underneath. And I don't want that, I want white. So I'm gonna heat set this so I get a really good image. Now here's a trick, um, because I didn't wanna paint down the sides of my card with painter's tape. I'm using some um, rock, paper, scissors masking paper masking no nope, it's called rock paper scissors removable sticker labels but i'm using it as masking paper i always do because you can buy it in bulk and it is amazing i'm going to fold that over on itself and it'll hold down my card there um, to minimize some warping i'm taking out some Catherine puller inks here and i am going to spritz with water but i'm going to wet my cardstock panel first. I'm going to get it really nice and wet. This way I can drop in some color. Catherine Puller inks are great for this. Um, they don't, they're not very saturated colors when you do it like this. So I had to do a couple layers and then I added something else to kind of give it a little bit of that pop. So I'll show you that in a minute. But um, what you can do here, I, I really wanted to go for a lighter, softer background. A lot of times when I watercolor, I get a little overzealous. <laughs> So, so I want to try to uh, dial that in a little bit, even though the end result is still a lot more vibrant than this. Um, sometimes I just can't help myself, but I try. I made an attempt. And I'm going to use three primary colors so that I can get a little bit of that mixing in between the red, yellow um, to make a little bit of orange, and then also the yellow, blue to make a little bit of green. So I'm going to heat set that in between because I did not want to wait too long to color up the second layer. I'm gonna go back in and do the exact same thing. Um, I still wet the paper first, and then I'm gonna drop in some of that color. I find that because these are not, they're dye inks, so you can watercolor with them, but they're not like watercolor paints. Watercolor paints, I feel, move a little bit better on the paper if, there's, if the paper's more dry. These work beautifully if the paper's wet. This is just my discovery. Um, again, other people could have a different encounter with them, but they're beautiful for this technique. I love them. They're really, really good. So I'm gonna go through, this is my second layer here, and I am going to um, just let that dry. I think I let this one, no, I didn't let it air dry. Who am I kidding? <laughs> but I did pull out some Catherine Puller of the color burst and I'm gonna add a little bit of red to the red, a little yellow, and then a little blue. Now when I spritzed this, um, I got, you'll see, you get this really super vibrant pop of color. And then as I was watching it, I thought, oh, this is gonna dry with those dots on there, which I actually, would, at first I was disappointed and then I really liked it. I thought, oh, that's really fun. It's almost like a paint splatter, but in the coordinating color. But, uh, nature took over and the air did its thing and it actually dried back almost to nothing. Like the blue speckles are gone, almost gone. So it didn't, um, didn't go as super planned as wanted, but you can see the color burst really kind of made that um, pop up the white. Now it dried back quite a bit, like I was telling you. 
So if you wanted to do that, you could add another layer of those, um, those color bursts. So here I'm showing you this shimmer. Uh, this is shimmer spritz and it's basically like taking an entire sparkle pen and putting it all over your, it, your panel. Um, so I'm going to try to show you, I move it back and forth quite a bit because I want you to see the sparkle. So if you can see that sparkle on the uh, panel, it really does show up beautifully. So let's do some die cutting here. I'm going to pull out my all to new alphabet die set and my little prism uh, die cutting machine. I like to keep on my desk for little things like this. Uh, and I'm going to die cut first in some fun foam. The fun foam I'm using is adhesive on one side. Uh, you can buy it without the adhesive. I just happen to have this in my stash. And now I'm choosing between two gold glitter card stocks. And I chose the one that matches my stickles because that's going to be my embellishment at the end. Now this um, die cutting machine works really well. And I have to tell you, this is the glitter cardstock that's a pain to cut through. I don't even know what brand this is, but you know what I'm talking about? Where it's like, it doesn't cut super even all the time. Well, with that die cutting machine, it did. So I was happy with that. All right, I'm going to use this um, Honey Bee stamp set for celebration and congratulations and hooray. And I'm going to use um, the technique of the white embossing on black cardstock. And I'm going to heat set that. Now, I, the hooray is very solid. And I didn't quite get um, a perfect uh, stamped image on that. But I'm not going to show it in this video because I don't use the hooray in this video. But you can take a white gel pen or a white out pen and just fill in where those little specks are that aren't solid. Um, so that's a little tip there if you ever run into that issue. I'm cutting down my card panel with this uh, net, the largest of the small lawn fawn rectangle stitch dies. <laughs> Is that confusing? So then I'm going to take my glitter card stock and I'm going to put it on top of this pink fun foam. I was okay that it was pink. I felt like the, there was pink in the card, so uh, it didn't matter to me. But you can use anything. You can even double up card stock if you don't have fun foam. If you want the dimension, uh, that's another way that you can do it. I'm going to let that dry for a little bit. I am using Barely Art Glue, which is working beautifully for this. But on the back side of my fun foam, as you recall, I said it was adhesive. So it makes this part very, very simple. I'm going to lay out my word yay. I yay everything. If you ever look through my comments <laughs> in the bottom of my videos when I'm replying to people, I'm yaying up a storm. It's my thing. I say yay to everything because it's the best way to express how excited I actually am. So this is the perfect card for me to make. Yay, you did it. So very excited. And of course, we're celebrating um, the, uh, the three accomplishments, the three milestones for uh, Katya, Jenny, and Ardeth. So very, very excited for them. It is no small feat to get any amount of subscribers on your YouTube channel. So the fact that they're at 5,000, that is huge. So, so proud of them. It's a lot of hard work. It's a lot of consistency and dedication and I'm um, just really proud and happy for them. So that's, yay. <laughs> See what I tell you. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to add some stickles, the gold stickles, to the inside of some of those flowers. And then I'm going to use these um, sparkling sequins that have no hole in the center, which are my absolute favorite. I haven't pulled these out in a while. And um, I'm just going to finish up the card with those. So I'm very, very excited about this. I thought it was a very simple card. I needed one of those in my life uh, because my mojo's been kind of in the toilet lately. <laughs> so it's just, yeah. Uh, this was a very good way to get me back in it. i um, excited about that. So here's some close-ups of this card. Um, again, just want to take a minute to congratulate um, our three ladies on their accomplishment. And thank you so much for joining the hop. Make sure to hop around, have fun, get inspired. And also, there are a number of awesome prizes that are going to be given out randomly to hop commenters. So make sure when you hop, you comment better. Uh, the more you do it, the better your chance of winning a prize. So deadline for comments is June 5th. Prizes announced on all three ladies' blogs on the 6th of June. And prizes must be claimed by the 30th. Thanks so much for joining again. I will list everything I used in this video in the description box below. Don't forget to follow me on social media so that we can connect in other forums and hit subscribe if you want to see more from me. We'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.